Church for Harvey Henry Fry. You have asked to have your child baptized. In doing so, you are accepting the responsibility of training him in the practice of the faith. And for the God parents, are you ready to help the parents of Harvey in their duty as Christian parents? In his name, I claim you for Christ our Savior, and the Son of the Cross, and I trust the Son of the Cross in the world, and ask for parents and non parents to be We come into the church now that you may feel that Christ is here and is here. Now we have one or two readings from the scriptures just to help us to uh, realize what today's sermon is all about, so that we are bringing a little one into the life of Christ through the Holy Spirit. the Lord employ, employ you to lead a life worthy of your vocation. Be with one another, charitably, in complete selflessness, gentleness, and patience. Do all you can to preserve the unity of the Spirit by the peace that binds you together. There is a body, one Spirit, just as you were called into one and the same hope when you were called. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, who is one God of all over all, through all and within all. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And that reading from St. Paul, uh, he would be talking mostly there to adults as they were coming into the faith. But he was sort of telling them what was, uh, what was the true Christian spirit that they were to try and live by in their own lives. I'll just uh, read for you now a part of St. John's Gospel. There was one of the Pharisees called Nicodemus, a leading Jew, who came to Jesus by night and said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who comes from God, for no one could perform the signs that you do unless God were with him. Jesus answered, I tell you more solemnly, unless a person is born from above, they cannot see the kingdom of God. And Nicodemus said, How can a grown person be born? Can they go back into the mother's womb and be born again? And Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, unless a person is born through water and the Spirit, they cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of the flesh is flesh, and what is born of the Spirit is Spirit. This is the Gospel of the Lord. He had observed him, but he was still a rather hesitant man, so he came to Jesus, we are told, by night and said, I'd like to talk to you now about 
you're talking about this new life. I, I can't understand what you, you, you're talking about. And uh, our Lord tried to explain to him that what he was teaching was that we have to be reborn spiritually and come into oneness with Christ and through Christ with God, our eternal Father. And that uh, this uh, gift is a gift of faith, it's a gift of love, a gift of hope, a gift of perseverance. It's not something that we can see or touch, but something at the same time extremely important. And that's where we're bringing Harvey today now in the four steps. Uh, so we can begin with that. Harvey, who is to be baptized on his parents and godparents, and on all the baptized. Lord, we ask you to bless Harvey with a life filled with love, laughter, and adventure. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. We remember Harvey's great grandparents, especially his name is who passed away recently. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. We thank you for those who guide us through life's many challenges and those who inspire us. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we ask that Harvey grows up to be resilient, proud, respectful, and humble young man. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. And we ask Mary, the mother of Jesus, to pray for us. We ask St. John the Baptist to pray for us. St. Joseph to pray for us. St. Peter and St. Paul to pray for us. Holy Ben and Almighty and living God, the sent your only Son into the world, to cast out the power of Satan and spirit of evil, and to rescue the people from the kingdom of darkness, and to bring them into the splendor of the kingdom of lights. We pray for Harvey, set him free from original sin, make him a temple of your glory, and send your Holy Spirit to dwell with them. And we ask for this true Christ, our Lord. People come into the church in stages, but now we just anoint Harvey and we ask God to give him strength. We anoint you with the oil of salvation in the name of Christ our Saviour. And may he strengthen you with his power, who lives and reigns forever and And the water is the, uh, the symbol of life that Christ has chosen by which we are reborn spiritually and of course without which no life can really exist. So Jesus chose that as a, a fitting symbol of the new life we receive in baptism. My dear brothers and sisters, we now ask God to give this child new life in abundance to water and the Holy Spirit. Father, you give us grace to sacramental signs which tell us the wonders of your unseen power. <clears throat> in baptism we use your gift of water, which you have made a rich symbol of the grace you give us in the sacraments. At the very dawn of creation, your spirit breathed on the waters, making them the wellspring of all holiness. The waters of the great flood, you made a sign of the waters of baptism that made an end of sin and a new beginning of goodness. Your son will that water and blood should flow from his side as he hung upon the cross. And after his resurrection told his disciples, go out and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Father, look now with love upon your church and unseal for her the fountain of baptism. 
by the power of the Spirit, give to the water of this font the grace of your Son. For you created people in your own likeness, cleanse them from sin. Now, in a new birth, to water, by, by, to innocence, by water and the Spirit. We ask you, Father, to send the Holy Spirit upon the water of this font, and may all who are buried in Christ in the death of baptism rise also with him to newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Dear parents and God parents, you have come here to present Harvey for baptism. By water of the Holy Spirit, he has received the gift of new life from his God and his love. And on your part, you must make it your constant clear to bring him up in the practice of the faith. See that the divine life that God gives him is kept safe from the poison of sin, to grow all the stronger in his parents. And if your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, renew now the vows of your own baptism, reject sin, profess your faith in Christ Jesus. This is the faith of the Church. And this is the faith in which your child is about to be baptized. So do you reject Satan and all his works and all his implications? <clears throat> do you believe God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, who was crucified and died and was buried, and rose from the dead and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit and the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? This is our faith, and this is the faith of the Church. We are all that we have professed with you in Christ Jesus. And is it your wish now that Harvey Henry Farr should be baptized in the faith which you have all professed?
to show that Christ really is giving us this gift. Parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. This child of yours has been enlightened by Christ. He is to walk always as a child of the light. And may he keep the flame of faith alive in his hands. And when the Lord comes, may he go out to meet him with all the saints in the heaven. The Lord Jesus, may the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak. May he soon touch you. Especially welcome you, Harvey. We wish you long life and much happiness. May you face all continue to bring great joy to your parents, your grandparents, family, friends, and to all those who come to know you. May beauty delight you and happiness uplift you. May wonder fulfill you and love surround you. May your step be steady and your arm be strong. May your heart be peaceful and your word be true. May you seek to learn, may you learn to live. And may you live to love and may you love always. Well, I'm sure later on in life, I hope he gets that little uh, uh, poem and that he can reflect upon it in later life. So we just pray together now a prayer of thanksgiving for uh, Harvey's mother here. Mother, Father, through his son, the Virgin Mary's child, has brought joy to all Christian mothers <clears throat> as they see the hope of eternal life shine on their children. May he bless Rebecca, the mother of this child. She now thanks God for the gift of her child and the ways of faith. Bless her and as she now thanks God for the gift of her child, may she be one with him in thanking him forever in heaven, in Christ Jesus our Lord. God is the giver of all life, human and divine. May he bless Sam, Harvey's father. He and his wife will be the first teachers of their child and the ways of faith. May they also be the best of teachers, bearing witness to the faith by what they do and say in Christ Jesus our Lord. By God's gift from water and the Holy Spirit, we are reborn to everlasting life. In his goodness, may he continue to pour out his blessings upon these sons and daughters of his. <clears throat> make them, may he make them always, wherever they may be, faithful members of his holy people. And may he send his peace upon all who are gathered here in Christ Jesus. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> 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 <laughs>